Well, oh. This is the Halloween episode. Oh, really? Oh, well. Happy Halloween, everybody. It's gonna be great. <laughs> No, dude, please tell me this is not real. Uh, no. I have nothing to say right now. <laughs> what would Jesus do? <laughs> what would Jesus do? Probably slap you for getting that tattoo. <laughs> that has to be, is that, that can't be. They, those have to be photos. That's my. That is so gross. Why would somebody get that tattooed on their body? I'm like upset and mad. Oh, so. <laughs> I thought that was the last supper for a second. Thing. It it's is not the last supper all. for that guy. I don't. This can't be, this has to be photoshopped. That's a lot to take in. That is a lot to take in. Was that a drunken mistake? I don't know, baby. The movie should be a drunken mistake, <laughs> if, in my opinion. Yo, I wanted to try that one day. I'm just saying, like, don't look if at I got nothing else going for me. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Where would you want to be in the lineup? I would probably... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Where are the set of people do you want to be? <laughs> Nowhere! I will never answer that question. That is gross! No. Can you ride them around town? <laughs> like a little pony? Where are the set of people do you guys want to be? Um, oh, definitely like the front. Front, yeah. No one else wants to be the Absolutely. middle of the back. If, if we had to. <laughs> I would like to be in the tattoo above it. I'll be the what? I want to be Jesus. I want to be with Jesus. Where in the human set of people do you want to be? Oh, dead. <laughs> cool, so the back. <laughs> as long as I die first. <laughs> do I have to pick? Yes. Like, I, I have no choice. No choice. I mean, the, the front's the only good option here, or else you're sucking on an ass. <laughs> I'd be in the middle. Yeah? Just taking it both ways? I like it both ways. Yeah. Just, just eating that poop and making it. Yeah. Jesus would want to be first in line, just like anybody else in the human centipede. That's, that's the money spot, you know what I mean? You just get to eat. It's not the worst, you know? I've never watched it. He, he told me about the existence of this movie, and just by him telling me about it, they have three uh, sometimes of them. I may even have nightmares about it. And it's just like... The heck is this? You ever seen the human centipede? Human centipede? Yeah. Oh my god, I get to explain it to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> they have three of them. They do one in a prison. They use all wanna, the prisoners. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. That's a big food chain. I don't want to hear about but it. Why? So basically, in this movie, there are three people who get captured by this scary German um, scientist. And so he like breaks their knees and then like cuts open their faces and sews their mouths to their buttholes and like makes this human centipede. All right, mm-hmm. Hot. <laughs> That's awesome, <laughs> dude. Is that? Did, did we take that picture? <laughs> I think that was... <laughs> uh, I would definitely pass on that one. Now that's one I would get. <laughs> this is good. Michael Myers with a freaking knife boner. Super traditional, but it's straight to the point and you know what it is. I have more respect for that than super fancy tricks with cameras. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I yes. like it. It's like... He's like, Halloween's coming. He's like, yeah, baby. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Knives out. I wouldn't want to sit on that guy's lap. <laughs> I love the, the knife situation. Yeah, that's cool. That's very creative. I don't know what cool. to think about this. I'd get it. It's like confused boners. I'll get it on the other side of my face. Confused okay. lady boners. The hair. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what does it? It's pepper, the peppering of hair. It's just beautiful. Somebody's horny for Michael Myers. <laughs> Oh no, that looks like the nun from uh, the other movie. I can't remember with the f***ing teeth. From the nun? Is it the nun? Oh, this is one of my favorite horror movies as of recent. Terrifier. This is a cool one. I like it. This is a hard tattoo to do because the guy has a full white face. So I really like how they did kind of the bluish greenish tones to kind of give you that feel and, and still capture it. It's a cool tattoo. I think it's decent. I think there's some tones that are going to fade over time. 
uh, again, I just always wonder with all these whites and these light, light tones, how they're gonna age. What happens if that person gets any type of sun? But I mean, it's a well done tattoo from that image. You know, I'm an old timer, so I'm looking for things that are gonna last 10 years, you know? You could do a really awesome tattoo and it looks great for a year or two, but then it fades and it doesn't stand the test of time. So I tend to be a bit pickier than, than most. That's a good tattoo though. It's a lot of white though, man. I, I see these tattoos with all this white and you know, makes me wonder how it's gonna look. It just, again, makes me wonder how it healed up. You know what I mean? I'd like to see these things healed up and you know, in a video, something that can't be like filtered or retouched or whatever, you know? Oh, that fucking movie. That movie's creepy as f Have you seen that? That is spooky. I like tattooing evil stuff, but like the brutal stuff, like in movies, like, I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. Like, I it just, it just makes me uncomfortable. Like I know a lot of people live for like the gore and horror. So I started watching Terrorizer and then there's one part of the movie where he's got her like chained up and he saws like straight through the vag. And at that point is where I turned the movie off. Like, I'm sorry, but that is like people that enjoy that shit, you might be a little bit of a sick f Like I'm glad you like that, but that is not for me. I don't like it. You're sawing through vages, I'm out. Like that's that's where I'm checking out on this shit. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Didn't like it, 10 out of 10, wouldn't watch this shit again. That's that's a Zoom meeting of horror characters. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So everything. Oh, holy shit. You okay. love horror. This is yeah. They definitely do. You know, I'd love to tie it in a little bit better. Yeah. Well, I mean, clearly it's a collection. It's yeah. like you know, like they don't have to. You know, these guys don't all get along. But today, just for the purpose <laughs> of the tattoo, same room. They're in the same room, same body. Something like that tells me that the client just kind of got one or two and then that just wanted fine. to kind of like fill the space so right. it wasn't necessarily like it doesn't look bad. a some master people plan like, at first. Yeah, some people yeah. just like having portraits and that's totally fine, right. but. Each tattoo is done awesome. As yeah. a whole, I would like to see it a little more like cohesive. Right. Poltergeist, Fuck yeah, I see that one in Gizmo. Fuck yeah, there's so much good shit here. Look at that. Aw. There's almost there's a door knocker cool. lion boy on the top, like you. Oh yeah. Aww. I want to do you want to do. This is cool. I feel like they did as much as they could without it being overwhelming where you can't read it. Like it has just the amount of ni nice stuff in there. Really nice work. I really love the poltergeist piece just because that movie was like a huge thing for me growing up. Um, as as wacky as it is. I like that there's an ohm hiding in his arm. That is quite a collection. Wow. What I really want to know about is what did it feel like to get his butt crack tattooed like that? I like that his going. butt crack has teeth. His, oh, it does. <laughs> He's got a toothy butt crack. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's cool. Do you think he ever like, it's weird. I don't know. I don't want to think about it, really. I'm going to think about that all day today. I bet this guy gets a lot of tension at the beach and necessarily kids don't come close to him with all of this imagery that's really dark and scary. Um, but it's really well done. Like the, the values, it's, it's cool. It's a cool tattoo. I don't know about the teeth and the butt crack. <laughs> it's like his butt cheeks are gonna eat ya. <laughs> oh, it's me in the morning, every morning. I like that. It looks really good. Clean. So really, is that who, is, who did that one? Is that Kelly? Oh, I love this one. Love that one. piece. Yeah. Yes. I always I know love this Kelly's one. Work. Yeah. No, no, no. Love it. Oh. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Kelly's work is so freaking cool, man. Classic. That looks like Kelly's work. That's a very uh, good take on you know a classic movie making it very modern. The Shining. Looks like The Shining meets Beetlejuice. Yeah, I don't know who that is. From The Shining. Oh, yeah. Now that you're saying it, it looks just like her. Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. That's cool. That's really cute. I like how they captured her actual f***ing expression from most of the film, where she's just like, <laughs> the whole time. She, that's her face kind the whole time. Kind of gaunt and funky and yeah. With the f***ing going through the wall. They did about that. That's a good, they did that's get her. that expression. Yeah, yeah. man. The colors like are really it. cool. Everything's awesome. Yeah, that's really well done. Beautiful. Very nice. Good job. What is that one from? Her teeth. That's probably the one that I'm not as familiar with. But the tattoo is phenomenal. Um, is it? No. I think, I don't know. I like it. Some possession. No, I'm saying like some, what, I'm trying to think of what movie it is. Oh, I, was, I, I was thought trying, you were like, is it? No, no, I was trying to think of which, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's, it's a really well done tattoo.